January 24, 1961, a B-52 Stratofortress suffered a severe fuel leak. The bomber caught fire and broke up over the farming community of Faro, about 12 miles from Goldsboro, North Carolina. The pilot and crew were forced to bail out, abandoning their payload, two MK-39 thermonuclear bombs. Each MK-39 was built to lay waste to a wide area and had an explosive power bigger than 3 million tons of TNT. One of the bombs plunged deep into the muddy soil of the Junta Swamp. For weeks, a recovery team excavated the swampland. However, the thermonuclear component of the bomb, which contained plutonium, uranium, and lithium salt, was left about 180 feet underground. If one of the bombs had detonated, it would have had more than 250 times the destructive power of the Hiroshima bomb. North Carolina would have been covered in clouds of radiation, with thousands dead from the blast and radiation exposure. Most worryingly, if the government had assumed the bomber was sabotaged or hijacked, the U.S. military would have retaliated, sparking World War III. The North Carolina Division of Radiation Protection periodically tests the groundwater near the crash site, and as of yet, no detectable radiation has been found.